for by grace you've been saved, verse 8, through faith, this is not your own doing, it's the gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. I love how he talks about it's not about our own works because we're his workmanship. It's like, you can almost picture this if you're like a wooden sculpture, it's like you're trying to carve out yourself, and it's like, no, it's not about you working to be it. it, it's he works to make you that. Like, you're his workmanship, and when you understand you're his workmanship, you can do good works. You can do the things that you can do in your Christian life when you understand I'm actually his work. I'm the fruit of his work. That's a thought right there. I'm a fruit of his work on the cross. And it's now not about my own works, but it's about what he's done. And it doesn't mean works are bad, right? Like, like your prayer meetings, quiet times, you know, generosity, giving to the poor, spending time with the poor, like those are amazing things. But if you're doing that to carve yourself into the work, no bueno. When you understand that you're his workmanship, it starts flowing out of you. And, and again, I'm not saying any of those things are bad. They're actually amazing. They're actually what we're called to. And actually, beforehand, they were prepared for us. So the Lord already prepared these amazing things for us, but they're not the way that we become his workmanship. They're actually what we do as his workmanship. And if we don't understand this, we'll live our lives in immaturity as believers. Because no matter what we do, it will never be enough. 